I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com and we're here in the triple digit backcountry deserts of Utah with two tow monsters. The first is the 2013 Ford F450 Super Crew Platinum. The other, the 2013 Ram 3500 HD Super Crew Laramie Longhorn. These are the two biggest, baddest tow vehicles that you can buy in the United States. But they're very similar, but also very different. We know what you're saying. These should not be compared in a head-to-head -head test. We have a class four truck pitted a class three truck, but we don't care about that. These are the two top GCW, GVW trucks that you can buy. So we've taken them out for a showdown and test. Let's see how different they really are. Power Stroke uses a V8 configuration. Cummins uses a straight six. 400 horsepower, 800 foot-pounds of torque for the Ford Power Stroke. 385 horsepower, 850 foot-pounds of torque for this high output Cummins. With the F450, the only ring and pinion choice you get is 430 to one axle gears. That used to give this F450 the biggest towing capacity numbers in the industry, but that's all changed for 2013. The new 2013 3500 HD has a GCW number of 37,600 pounds. That blows away the previous winner, which was the F450, by almost 5,000 pounds. That's impressive. The similarities. Both are just under $70,000. Both have 14,000 GVW numbers. Both have turbo diesel engines and six-speed automatic transmission. We've always liked the Super Duty interior. They've done a very good job of pushing, let's be honest, the entire industry to do better than they have in the past. But from what we're seeing at this high level, these are vehicles that are just under $70,000. This is a very nice interior for a truck that might be $50,000, but for $70,000, still a lot of hard plastic, little hard areas to put your elbow probably not the standard of the segment anymore. Inside our test unit here, this is the Laramie Longhorn. This is the top of the line for Ram Heavy Duty. And quite honestly, this is the standard that everybody else is now gonna have to meet. This is the bar that's been pushed up with their previous generation. So now this is what luxury in a full-size pickup truck, especially a heavy duty pickup truck, is all about. A lot of great materials everywhere you touch, soft stitching everywhere on the door and in the center console, seats heated and air conditioned. That's amazing for a full-size pickup truck. While we've talked a lot about these big haulers and their different personality characteristics, it wouldn't be a pickuptrucks.com test if we didn't get these things out on the road and push them to the extreme. And there's nothing more extreme than more than 16,000 pounds of bricks and an 8,300 pound flatbed gooseneck trailer, fully air suspended with a hydraulic rear tailgate. And just in case there was any doubt, this was no fashion show. We took these two trucks out on the road for over a week. We did more than 1,300 miles. We checked off Davis Dam and the Eisenhower grade. We ran through the, the desert in triple digit heat. We also got to carve through huge mountain passes. And we got to spend a lot of time behind the wheel. Here are some of our driving impressions. The driving portion for the Super Duty has been very impressive. We literally have had on the back of this truck for over 1,300 miles, maximum fifth wheel towing capacity in this truck. 24,000 pounds plus. And this vehicle, the Power Stroke, didn't even break a sweat. We had some very hard hill climbs that we had to go up. We had long distances to go through, some triple digit heat we had to power through, but the Super Duty did phenomenally well. If this is the outer limits of its capability, we're very confident that people are gonna be comfortable no matter what they're towing with this truck. We literally pushed the limits of this truck with a gooseneck flatbed trailer on the back and had 24 and 28,000 pounds pushing behind this truck. And this exhaust brake did a wonderful job of downshifting with the grade braking and also keeping things confident and under control. Keeping those RPMs up and keeping your speed 
down to a nice, safe level. And that's what towing is all about, staying safe and staying confident. Well, here we are in Dillon, Colorado at the base of the famous Eisenhower grade, where we've had the chance to take these two king of beasts and put them through a whole bunch of different towing tests. And we have to tell you there have been a few surprises. In fact, to get all the information and the data that we've collected, you're going to have to go read the full story at PickupTrucks.com. I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com and we're here in the triple digit backcountry deserts of Utah with two tow monsters. The first is the 2013 Ford F450 Super Crew Platinum. The other, the 2013 Ram 3500 HD Super Crew Laramie Longhorn. These are the two biggest, baddest tow vehicles that you can buy in the United States. But they're very similar but also very different. We know what you're saying. These should not be compared in a head-to-head -head test. We have a class four truck pitted a class three truck, but we don't care about that. These are the two top GCW, GVW trucks